You know, it was clear that his internet was giving him issues and that, that the mentality of Met net play was giving him issues. So I'm happy to see him being back at his peak. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was always pretty transparent about the fact that I didn't really count the non-region lock tourneys. So I never like, I never like judged Moki based on the yeah. fact that he wasn't seeing too much success. But um, he's definitely shown up today at the at the season opener. Oh shit! Ginger, <laughs> that was insane. Ginger I... actually, Ginger uh, connects. Hold on, hold on. What's going on right now? <laughs> The train oh. just doesn't stop. Oh my god, that dare to cover the tech was so, so smart. And then the full hop back air, he knew exactly where Moki would be. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Huge outplays from Ginger. And I think he even did like a frame perfect fire stall. What the fuck? Yo, he is all over him. Okay, Moki gets a knockdown with the up tilt, goes for the tech chase with the back throw. Perfect spot dodge. He just knows exactly what Moki's gonna do, and they haven't even. This is game one. Like he has nothing to go off of, except for the set they played like half an hour ago. This yeah. Is, this is insane. Oh. Okay. Oh, I love that that uh, down air where you you fade, you run forward, but you fade back while doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a weird death from Moki. All right, Moki needs to convert this. Yeah, Falco's always going to air dodge there. You know, he's never going to do an up B. I feel like only at lower levels of play. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was really... That, dude, that was so close. Too close for comfort. Yeah. Okay, no jump from the Falco. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Moki got a little mixed up with his ledge movement there. That's definitely Man, what happened. That was a command in game one. Like, I don't think that game one could have gone any better for ginger honestly yeah but we saw this in their last set and uh moki still ended up uh sweeping it sweeping the rug out from underneath ginger just when he was on the cusp of victory yeah you can't say anything about what these first few games mean especially because you know moki's got a set to, to work with if he wants he's got a whole set to throw away oh yeah all right Okay, full hop and airs. Hmm. Again, I feel like Moki's punish Dude. game, has, that shield pressure was insane. The... No, you know what I'm seeing from a lot of Falcos like Ginger and Magi is they'll literally triple or even quad shine your shield. And the merit is that they're saying, do not challenge this. Because yeah. you know how like Falco doesn't even necessarily need um, like a wave dash confirm for his shine to be devastating. Yeah, they just exactly. want they just they just want to hit a shine at all costs, and they know yeah. how how um, anxious people are to, to like hit an out of shield option. Like you know, Fox just wants to do a shine out of shield. But um, damn, nice nice Ooh. ledge possession from Ginger. Yeah, that was real. That was real quick. And I'm telling you, his ledge stalls on the upbeat. We need to check the slippy replays after this because I think they're perfect. He, I've seen him. I've seen him maintain full intangibility through two of these ledge stalls now. And to do that, you have to fall from the ledge on exactly frame nine, which is a frame perfect input. Oh! Oh, so good. Doesn't let him grab the ledge. Yeah, and Moki was really good about drifting to ledge Dude. earlier against Ginger's combos, so it's real smart of him to catch him there. Oh. This is beautiful. This is beautiful Falco play from Ginger, honestly. I agree. I agree. I think the way that he's mixing up his shield pressure too. You know, we were talking about the shines, but the way that he's just using like these drift back dares, like that. That was such a well spaced dare he just did. God. Yeah, bro. He he mixes up if he's gonna shine you three times, four times, or five times. <laughs> we don't know. We don't. <laughs> we don't know which one is coming. We just know it's gonna win. <laughs> but look, there's the shine grab because now he knows Moki just wants to hold shield against against you. He said, "Don't contest this." So when you're not contesting, he gets the shine grab for free. Yeah, and by the way, nice tech roll from Moki on that back air. I feel like um, Moki, in the past, I've seen him not really utilize that option, so nice to see. Wow, just that three full hop nairs in a row from Moki really Ooh. get the job done. And, and mm, I was going to say that's the Moki, the, the, the back throw that he did, but what he did afterward was also the Moki. That there, was there, maybe also the Moki. There are, there are multiple Mokis. <laughs> Oh, love the forward air there to reach. He's saying, just grab. please roll, please roll. <laughs> no, but you got to just grab. Like, 
uh, you know, when you're putting on that pressure, they don't want to leave the shield because then they've got to enter jump squat, make themselves vulnerable. So you got to yeah. just go for the grab. Oh, no fast fall dare there from Ginger. I know he's been trying to implement that a lot, and it was so good to catch the dash away from Moki and get all of this started. Well, they're just trading hits. The defensive counterplay from both is so good. Yeah, this is this is a fast pace last stock. Oh, man. Forward, yeah, I knew he was going to forward air him. He needs the max range right there. Moki knew it too. That's why he DI'd that way. Exactly. Yes. Fair. So That's nice. it. So nice. And Ginger needed to side B there. The moment he initiates that up B, he's, he's done. Mm -mm. Ooh, one, man. One, one to one. One to one. I'm losing my voice, Zane. I don't know if I have uh, another set in me. Me too, dude. Well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No bias. No bias. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a blue Falco in, man. I can't root against that. That's, that speaks to my heart. It's fair. No, both these guys definitely played. They played out of their minds all night long. So well-deserved. Well-deserved from both of them to make the grands. I'm so happy we get to see the HC Battlefield skin with yeah. double blue spaces. Dude. Yeah. Could we have asked for a more appropriate a more appropriate ending, honestly? Not a chance. Okay, yeah, goes for the grab because he got stuck in shine, didn't have that much time. Oh, so oh, good. what a sick yeah. laser. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't do the forward tilt there, then Moki will descend to the ledge. And um, as, I, as we've highlighted multiple times, it's all about if you can make it there. Mm -hmm. Ginger's aerial drift while he's doing these lasers is at a level of control that is just really high. Uh, you only see it from real top Falcos. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What can Ginger do here? Yeah, it's not going to kill, yeah. but Moki's got to DI it away. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter too much, you know? The stock was at 120. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Shine out of the up air. He ASDI downs the first hit of the yeah. up air, and then, he, and then he shines him afterward. Yeah. Down throw, yep, okay. But Ginger knew it was coming, too. Would have liked to see a runoff down air or something, uh, so that in case Ginger ends up right there. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah. He's absolutely dead. <laughs> Ginger didn't even let the forward smash release. He was he was telling us that he knew Moki was dead, too. He didn't want to look like a fool. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Ginger's movement around these oh. platforms. With the size, he's got Moki rolling, too. Oh, dude, he, knows, oh. he knows he's going to roll. He knows he's going to roll. Ginger, Ginger suddenly opens this game right up. Oh, my God. Dare? Yeah, he's, yep, he's double jump there. <laughs> Yo, Ginger's moving so fast now. Yeah, out of nowhere, and, and really deceptive side B. I like the height, and that side B actually gets a tumble. Could have, could have mm -hmm. even gone into a punish. Gets to ledge. What? Wow. What? Oh, he's gonna start it up again. Yeah, he's back. all over Moki. The down air. Moki's rolling still. Lasers. He's he's done. He's done. Ah. Yeah. He, he doesn't even need to. He doesn't even need to hit him. Yeah, well, I mean, if Moki drifts to ledge there, he gets hit by the double jab, right? And then he falls down, and then Ginger just gets to dare him anyways and end it. So he had everything covered. Yeah, exactly. That was looking like a close game until Ginger just broke the lead wide open. Um, found some really creative shines in the middle of that match and uh, never looked back. Okay. Do you think it makes sense to go FD here? I feel like it makes sense to go FD here. I've never viewed FD as a Moki stage. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. He he's he's got some stuff. It's more the the Moki combos, but I I don't know. I, really, what I'm saying is just Dreamland. Okay, that works too. I, Ginger's platform movement has left Moki looking lost, just without a hope, cast away. You know. Moki leaving Ginger looking lost on that first stock, and then he shines him again true. for good measure. That's exactly. true. That's exactly how he needs to open up this this pivotal game four. Oh, he's, he's gone. Okay, yeah. okay. This whole game might be done. We might we might go into a last game situation, Zay. Moki sitting at a clean fifteen after those first two stocks. Oh, laser Ginger. barely misses. Yeah, but Moki knows all too well that Ginger's gonna do a double jump down air there. He he uh, punishes it with a with a grab. He punishes that down air with an up smash. Oh, Re I he's love reading that. his mind. He's just reading his mind right now. Ginger's looking lost. 
Mm, okay, okay. Moki overextends a little bit. That's big for Ginger, not gonna lie. Can he get to center, though? Yeah, okay. Whoa, the no fastfall Nair from Moki aiming for the shield poke. So smart. Manages to get him that stock. That was a reaction no fastball too when he saw Ginger's shield. Real good stuff. Yeah, this is all super meaningful percent. Almost an it's pretty much an insurmountable lead at this point for Ginger. Yeah. I I feel similarly. Yeah, CC shine off the table. You know, Moki just needs a single straight hit and he'll pretty much uh, walk away with the win. That should do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, wow. Real strong game four from Moki. He is one game away from, turking, taming, blah, blah, from taking the tournament. Oh, boy. Yeah, the way he's um entering this game five is exactly what he wants. It's looking kind of like their previous set, right? Where where Moki just just uh turned the jets on right at the very yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, a little. It's not a reverse 3-0 this time, but... Uh, it's but similar. It, it's similar. I definitely do feel like Moki is the one who's moving moving fast going into this last one yeah and it means it means so much in this matchup pretty uh wait oh we missed something yeah yeah ginger closed that sock out in the blink of an eye yeah oh and he's he's been all over moki the second stock too that laser shine approach has been so good for him in both this and the last set they played and That's and Moki good. Moki gets an animation called Miss Foot. It's the animation where you where you like fall off the platform and mm -hmm. um Oh man, that's why that's why he uh that's why he fell fell down there to his death. Can he find an up smash? No, but he gets a back air. And uh oh no, he lets Ooh. lets Ginger back. He more than lets Ginger back. He lets Ginger have at him too. Good obs attack, but uh versus air, yeah. Okay, that's one of four for Moki, but it's looking dire. Gonna need a Gimp, otherwise um, this one's almost certainly going to the second set. That's an interesting DI mix up there from Ginger, the up throw when Moki was at such a high percent. It just leads into the dare because the lasers don't hit. That's so cool. Wow, Great what angle. an angle. Great angle. Oh, Ginger playing so defensive now, saying, Moki, come to me. He knew exactly what Moki was looking for. Moki just wanted, like, a short hop uh, off that side plat, descend, yeah. descend onto Ginger, find a tumble. Yeah, um, it really yeah. just came down to Ginger missing his shine out of shield there. He, he yeah. played the situation exactly like he wanted it. Oh, this is it. Ginger's, walking, Ginger's walking away with it now. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, wait, dude. What? No. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Be, wait a second. That could be everything. That could, could be just, everything. Could decide the tournament. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No way. Okay. Ginger with that throw again. Not forward throwing, but this time it costs him. Finds the throw. Doesn't find anything afterward. Bear? Good DI though. Moki's living. Gets to ledge. Gets to center. Dude, that's Gets a dangerous sign. That's a dangerous sign. Ah, but he can't find the up air after these throws. Okay. Nair. There we go. Oh. Going to set two. Oh boy, we're, that was close, dude. We're going to set two, and these guys are tied in the number of games that they've taken off each other. It's five to five between the two of them so far. Yeah, Ginger's got to be breathing heavy after that one, though. Oh yeah, I mean, Moki could have easily walked away with the whole thing if he converted uh, either of those up throws into an up air afterward, um, but he was just shy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, man. Well, as easy you said, you wouldn't be able to do another set, but the the first stage to see of the year had different plans for you, buddy. <laughs> oh man. And I think this last uh, set between the two of these guys is going to come down to whoever wants it more, too. Like it's just um, oh yeah, a matter of keeping your stamina up, keeping the momentum going. These guys have definitely played uh, better melee than anyone else here tonight, I would say. And so that's why they're sitting here. So now uh, this is oh, it. Oh, they've proved it. They've proved it. Oh, man. Okay. All Sorry, right. Sorry, no Yoshis. Yeah, just like before. Let's see if Ginger will take game one again. 
Guess the so perfect opening. I guess that late down air that Falco dreams of, because that's going to convert right into uh, right into a shine. Big 64% combo to start things off. I love the JC shine, by the way. I, I knew you were going to say it. I, I knew you were going to say it as soon as Moki did it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Ooh. What? Oh, if he turned it around, he was dead. <laughs> He's still in. Still dead, but he, you know, he tried to go for Randall. He was just short. Yeah. Yeah, that up smash does not tumble if it's stale. Hmm. Which it was. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. that could have, um, that could have been costly. Yeah, because he could have teched it. Yeah. Oh, dude, he, he he redeems himself. He redeems himself. Uh, he he almost had that on Ginger's first stock, so he ended up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet. He said, "I hear you, Aziz. I'll I'll do it right this time. Don't worry, yep. buddy." <laughs> yep. Shy guy interfering with uh, Moki's recovery right there, making it a lot easier for Ginger to hit that back air. But then this is a huge up tilt. I think, oh uh, my Ginger, God. Ginger tried to short hop point blank in front of Fox. He's gonna pay for that. Rare Moki goes for the back throw and then just goes for a read off of it. That's interesting. I think players are super aware that Moki's gonna back throw just as often as he's gonna up throw. Uh, I, I haven't really seen him get too much mileage off of back throw this tournament. That being said, I don't think he really needs it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes he just gets one re-grab and that's all he needs to, you know, for the percent. Right. Up there? Yep. Man, Moki looked looking hot coming into the second set. It's, a, it's an exact reverse of the first set. First set, we saw a dominant game one opener opener from uh, Ginger on Yoshi's, and it feels like this has just been um, just the polar opposite. So good for Moki oh, to call dude. out that landing. Yeah, those oh. those nairs, like, blocking Ginger's jump escape, you know, because he can't jump. If he jumps, yeah. Fox is right above him with a hitbox, so he can't do shit. Yeah, so I think... I think something that's been so strong for Moki this entire first game has been that when he has Ginger in a combo, he's not just trying to hit him, he's cutting off his escape options too. When he hits Falco with an up air and Falco falls out of it, he immediately dashes away to be able to punish the landing dare from Ginger that he just wants out of that. You know, Moki's so, so aware of where his combo starts and ends. Yeah, and, and I think those like nares that he's placing above Ginger that I was highlighting... That's actually like an advanced concept. I call it a jump blocker. It's like a mm. jump blocker Nair. You know, you put a hitbox above somebody, they can't mm. jump. So now you know exactly where they have to go. And yeah. um, you can take them to uh, a very bad place if you if you time that, you know, correctly. Ooh. Speaking of a very bad place, though, oh, yeah. Ginger goes all yeah. the way out there and sends Moki down into a bad place. Oh, Dude, man. That's super low percent kill there. Um, I love the fact that he went for it. Oh, but he misses. He, uh, dude, you know wh why the shine sends him like that? Because he ASDI's up. The mm. the only the only way, yeah, he was holding up, and that's why the shine did not send him into knockdown. It's actually the worst thing you can do. Huh? Yeah. Oh, dude, the nair is so creative. Okay, what okay, good stuff from Ginger though. Combo. These guys are putting on a show. Yep. Jab shine. Yep. I think he's gonna ledge dash to try to wait out the invincibility, but he didn't get as much glint as he wanted. And Amazing lasers from Ginger, and just such good timing on the back here to close it out too. Oh yeah, double shine. You don't you don't challenge Ginger when he's on your shield. That's one thing I've learned today. Oh, dude, he almost downed him. He actually had that. Yeah, that was real close. Oh, he edge cancels the dare, but Moki's not fast enough to get the shine. Mm -hmm. He oh, saved him right there. No, Ginger used some combination of ASDI and SDI to make it back onto the stage. Moki with a beautiful running shine confirmed, though, off of the knockdown, and he's up a stock. Oh. Oh, such a good back air. Gin oh, no. Oh, no. And I think he already starts. Yeah, he's not happy about that. I wouldn't be happy about that either. He was edge guarding Moki so well. He went for the shine there to be able to just kill him off of it. Shine back air will end it there. And uh, now it's Ginger who's going to have to make the, the reverse 3-0 like Moki did in the first set. If he did, that would be a legendary ending to uh, it, tonight's tournament. It would be, it would be, we would have a nice palindrome between the three sets of them, you know? Yeah. 
I'm feeling rejuvenated, Zane. I'm fucking ready to watch some more of these guys play each other. You know, just like 10 minutes oh, yeah. ago, I was oh, feeling yeah. kind of done. I, I caught a second win. These guys, yo, there it is, man. The triple shine. He's been doing this all night. Like, it's actually really good. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Fox players are good enough nowadays that they could, sh they could shine out a shield after the first shine. They could shine out a shield after the second shine. But if you go for three, you know, chances are they aren't going to shine out a shield after the third one. Yeah, and Ginger's getting it started most often with that approaching laser that he does. That's that's how he's getting that shield pressure started so much of the time. Oh, and right there, I would have liked to see a ledge get up, uh, ledge get up attack. I'm sorry. Remember how I mentioned earlier that um, right, ledge right, get up right. attack is super good at edge guarding Falco, where when it's like ambiguous if he's gonna be on stage or not. Oh, and he denies the ledge. Yep, forces the air dodge. Dangerous spot for Ginger, but he makes it back. Yeah, that was that was that was very scary for a moment. Messes up the shield pressure that time, and Moki's gonna take it. Okay. Not that much. Finds the grab. There again, Rage. he's trying to bait the shield drop from Ginger right there. Yeah, I really like the way that he uh, he shield dropped and just repositioned himself. Because going immediately for the, the grab would have been too obvious. Oh my god, that conversion from Moki! Yeah, <laughs> that, forward, Ginger... that forward smash just barely reached him. Yeah, Ginger jumped into it, I think. Mm. Down air? But no, he Moki's connects. able to live. Yeah, yeah, he connects. Oh, nice from Ginger. Wow, that wave dash out forward smash. Manages to get out without taking any more percent on that stock. Ooh. He he goes for... Dude, that's my gimp. That's my patented gimp. You go for the dash JC shine. But but Ginger knows it all too well. I feel like Ginger actually learned that from playing against <gasps> me. You got a tech roll in. Yeah. It, and in the entire time I was saying that, Ginger racks up like over 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With so many dares, too. It's been so interesting seeing Ginger choose to dare over and over instead of sending Moki off stage. Man, Ginger landed right in the middle of Moki's two tech options and did a down smash that would have covered either one of them. Mm. Oh. Ginger... oh! Oh, I love... Shit. I love that he got on the other side of Moki with that shine off stage to force him back on stage and continue the combo. Yeah. Shine. Oh, he, he barely just lands on the platform, evading that shine. Okay. Yeah, just gonna take the lasers. Ginger not gonna give him the up smash. Edge guard situation. Oh, no, he's done. Can't mess yeah. that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two good, to one. Uh, good aerial drift from Ginger off stage there to get around Moki's flurry of edge guard attempts he threw out. Okay, Ginger's trying to make it happen. It could happen, man. This could go. This could 100% go either way. It definitely could. Where Where's Moki been counterpicking him to? What worked out for him in the last set? Hmm. I can't... I, I forgot. This is all going by too fast. All right. It's, he, it's, a, it's a bit too much. Dreamland, that's where he counterpicked him to. And that's where yeah, he took yeah. super, super fast two stocks in the game four. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh my god. Oh my god, Moki! It's still going. It's still going. Tech chase. Goes for the shine down tilt up air. That's oh gonna do it. God. Moki looks immaculate in this game. Game four. Game three. No, game oh. four. Put, game put, four. A, put a one four. next to Ginger's put, name, yeah. Jeremy. Put a one next to Ginger's name. And put a three next to Moki's name, because this one's looking over. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Weak, weak Nair. Ledge cancel. And uh, again, Ginger knows that he's got an SDI or ASDI those te those jabs in, but it doesn't matter because Moki is just on fire right now. Last time it was 15% after two stocks. This time it's 27, but I don't think Moki is complaining. He is looking so strong. Yeah, uh, very meaningful percent. If he can get Ginger to 40, then Nair's going to start tumbling, and that's a major threshold to break. There we go. Oh, man. The full hop to beat Ginger's defensive back air. Yeah, great air dodge on. I like it. Immediate ledge dash. Moki hasn't dropped anything, really. Okay, back here from Ginger. But Dreamland's gonna keep Moki alive. He's still, still alive. <gasps> Glides in. Slides right underneath the laser, and it kills Ginger. Oh, buddy. Oh, on buddy. The of, on the verge of a four stock. On the verge of winning the season opener. Could it happen? He has the shine. Yeah, Ginger always gonna tech roll that in. One thing I've learned from watching and playing him. But oh, Moki tries to tries to end it right there. All right, he's playing for the JV. He he really wanted it. He really wanted yeah. to end it there. Okay, Ginger, okay. love the Nair. So smart. Oh yeah, better than Dare, 100%. Oh, 
Poke shield grabs that. Wow, that's great recognition, actually. Okay, Ginger. Up smash to catch him there before he can land. Real good. Mm. Down smash. He had to kill him. All right. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh? Yep. Oh. Just missed a shine. Ginger at a over. Ginger at a exactly 100%. His shield pressure is still yep. so so good though. No, Moki knows not to challenge it. Moki just wants to reset the situation anytime Ginger's on his shield. Does he die <gasps> here? Yeah. Oh, the wave dash. Oh. 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 I think he he has no yeah. jump. Yeah, that's Moki, it. Dude, Moki's a season the champion of the of the HNC season opener. Dude, let's fucking go. That was what an unexpected win. I feel like going into this tournament, no one would have called it. Yeah, Moki definitely been having some troubles on netplay, but just showed up in a big way today. Oh my god. Moki saying if it isn't region locked, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Moki gunning for number one on the hacks rankings, man. <laughs> Only rankings we have left. Dude, what a performance. Yeah. I, I, I. Good stuff from Ginger, though, too. Even at the end there, he was making me believe that Falco had what it took to bring it back. You know, you know, those combos at the end, that shield pressure is so good. I think yeah. that's going to wrap it up for yeah, us. Yeah, Ginger, Ginger really maintained composure even when he was down four stocks to one. Like, you saw how badly he wanted to win. The shield pressure was still immaculate, even down, like, down, to, down to his dying breath, basically. Like, he put up a fight. So, like... Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think I see you guys asking for an interview. We're going to do something better than interview. We're going to raid Moki, and you guys can ask him all your questions there, and he can answer them himself and tell you 